Chicken tastes good, that's my opinion. Chicken tastes good. Chicken tastes good? Yeah, yeah, tastes good. Yeah. There's two types of people, one who makes excuses and one who goes vegan. Yeah. Well, listen, I'm Vegan not... veganism's dumb. But where would you stand in the days of slavery? Would you be on the side of the slave owners? Yeah, against it, obviously, obviously. Well, wait a second, just ask where you are now with animal rights. Watch you videos. watch my video and you're still not vegan yet. And in my head, I'm like, I have no uh, no disagreement. Like, yeah. I agree with everything 99%. And I'm just, uh, I guess I'm just too lazy to commit. So, yeah, I watch the videos. I'm like, oh, yeah, go, Joey, go. I really, like, it, it fits in morally with me. But I, I haven't made that commitment because I think I just, when I'm choosing the meats, I just suddenly. I'm like not thinking about it. Do you know what I mean? Well, I think it's because you're not the victim. So if you were the victim, you'd you'd have more of a sense of urgency. But you don't have a sense of urgency because it doesn't affect you. What happens to the animals? Yeah, I'd say that's uh, yeah. And like it's different. If I watch the videos, if I saw a slaughterhouse, I'm sure it would change me massively. I hope. Um, but yeah, when I see the videos, I'm like, oh, it's terrible, terrible. And then the next day, I wake up and. I'm boiling an egg or whatever. Yeah, you're causing it to happen to them. Yeah, because I... You're, I you're, yeah, you're part of the problem. If it was a human holocaust, you'd boycott all of the products of it. Yeah. No, I agree with that. Yeah, yeah, I would. Yeah, because I buy the... I buy the egg. I think of the eggs, I think all the eggs. But it's the same because, uh, you know, like you said, the, the chicklets get... The blender is terrible. It's really bad. It's so... Um, yeah, I mean, it's... It's just the... It's, the la it's not even the laziness, it's just, I don't make that connection enough to finally say, okay, you know what, that's enough. Like, I haven't, I don't play the, I guess I almost have to, I feel like I have to play those images in my head because I don't see it. it does that make sense? Like, if I was seeing it every day, every day, I'm sure I would, it would be an easy like, thing. It's almost like you haven't said to yourself, well, you know, I'm morally against this, I'm causing it, I'm an animal abuser if I don't. And um, like, there's no sense of accountability because if you walk around right now, you go and buy a burger, no one's going to hold you accountable if it's a meat burger. No one's going to say to you, "Oh, that's bad." You know, you have to tell yourself that's bad. You have to, you have to try to rationalise that with yourself. You know, but no one's going to come up to you and go, "You animal abuser, what are you doing, killing that animal?" Yeah, yeah. I think if if that was the scenario where it was normal to not eat meat, then I would definitely. You wouldn't do it because there'd be so much pressure from other people. Yeah. So, so yeah, there isn't a moral. I mean, this is anything to me. I meet all the time. No one literally. Well, wait a second. So, where would you stand in the days of slavery? Would you be on the side of the slave owners? Yeah, yeah, against it, obviously, well, obviously. Well, wait a second. Just ask where you are now with animal rights. Uh, do you know? I'm, I'm getting because images because of because it was traditional. It was normal. You know. Yeah, yeah it's true. I mean, I, I suppose. Uh, I have to say I'm a hypocrite because I go and see the cows in the field and I'm like, oh, they're so cute and I'm stroking them. And yeah. I, I was actually, I was talking with my friend about it. I said, it's, it's kind of weird that we actually eat, maybe not this, probably this cow, but we eat them. And it's like, oh yeah, yeah, oh well. It's like, it's weird. It's, it's well, it's not weird. It's, uh, yeah, it's just, it's illogical, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I think, I think maybe if you were faced with the animal, every time you had to eat them, you had to kill an individual and cut their head off, you wouldn't do it. No, no way. There's absolutely not. There's no doubt. And it would be the same with the... I mean, I don't... Yeah, I eat, I eat eggs. I don't eat uh, milk because of the lactose. Uh, I mean, yeah, I eat eggs and cheese and meat. Um, I say I cut down on meat, but it's still meat, you know? Um, Everyone cuts down. Yeah, yeah, I cut down, I eat less, I eat a little bit of meat. No, I know, I Every know. meal. It's true, it's true. I, I know it's not. Uh, yeah. It's not healthy either because my, my cholesterols are like, yeah, yeah, they're yeah. not that great. So I know that if I stopped yeah. it, but I, I know it's, uh, I just haven't, uh, 
I don't know at what point that switch is going to happen. Well, you, you're close because you called yourself a hypocrite, which is yeah, pretty close. Yeah, I am, yeah, yeah. 100%. That, that's, where I was <laughs> that's where I was a while back. <clears throat> I said, well, I, I don't want anyone to hurt a dog. I'm eating cows. I'm a hypocrite. Yeah. And I saw people who were like, save the whales, and they were eating steak. Or they were against palm oil, and they were eating steak. And I was like, these are hypocrites as well. I knew what a hypocrite was. And that was the first step. But then this, the next step was like, one day I just went, you know what? I, I don't want to be a hypocrite anymore. And I'm going to take action in that direction. And I just cleared out the stuff the next day and started, and I just did it. I just went ahead and did it. You know what I mean? No, I think that's, I'm getting there. Cause I've watched, I've just watched pretty much all of your videos. I've seen all the recent ones. I think the one with the, that you did with the, the swans, like yeah. last week, I watched all of them. I'm like, oh, and it's, yeah. it's so strange that it's like, I'm there, but I'm not there because I'm not, yeah. I'm not making those I mean, I'm scratching the surface kind of thing. Yeah. I tried different foods. Uh, I mean, uh, yeah, I mean, it's doable. I, I mean, you know, there's, uh, there's Veganuary's coming up. Yeah, I, I, you mentioned that. That's like, it's just 30 days of, yeah. of uh, just being a vegan, basically. Yeah. I mean, you could sign up to that and then you do it as a big, it's like a big thing and you, you just, you don't commit to the rest of your life. You're committing to 30 days and then it's a bit smaller in your mind. And after that 30 days, you can go, well, wait a second, was that really that hard? Okay, that could be good, because it becomes, I guess it would be my new normal at the end. Yeah. If I'm okay at the end of it... Um, you're not committing to your lifetime change, you're just committing to 30 days. Yeah. Yeah, I reckon that's, that's doable. Yeah, I mean, uh, I've even thought about my meals for the day. I'm like, a lot of them are vegan friendly. There's just probably two meals a day, I guess, pretty much. Uh, I porridge every day with uh, oat milk. Um, Jam. I've had that for about yeah. 31 years or whatever. So. so you're on your way there, but you just need to like, you need to make a commitment to yourself. Yeah, yeah. I have to I have to make that decision and then be yeah. like, this is it today. And I think you're in a comfort zone. I think you need to put yourself in the animal's position and go, is what you're doing good enough for them? Yeah, no, I agree. I think I have to really think. Because if it was a human holocaust, you would boycott it straight away. If it was dog meat, you would boycott it straight away. For some reason, I don't know where it is, you've been conditioned to think these animals, they don't matter as much. But we need to get out of that mindset, because they do. They feel the same pain as a dog. They suffer the same. They're worthy of their lives, and you're contributing to their pain and suffering and misery. Yeah, no, I agree with that. I think, I think the connection is kind of there, I guess, because I don't really think of cows, cows and pigs now. For me, I think of them, I mean really similar to, yeah. to dogs like it's getting there I, uh, and I see the video I go on YouTube and watch the videos just to make that yeah. it's a bit sad that I have to make that connection but because I'm not seeing it I haven't seen I've never seen an animal being killed okay fishing maybe but I've never seen like a the stuff that you've seen you know so and, you, and there's sanctuaries too where you can go and meet these animals and realise they have their own personalities they're all individuals like yeah I've never been to a farm as a kid, uh, but I didn't think about it. Was, you know, so. I'm there. I'm nearly, I'm nearly there. I'm nearly there. But I like the January thing. I think that's. You should do the January. Too. Yeah. Like here's a little guide as well. I mean. Yeah. No, I'll give it a go. So easy to be vegan, man. One month, and then I'll see how I feel. Yeah. yeah. I I can do it. Veganism's easy when you think of the victims. Yeah. Yeah. As long as I keep thinking of that. Just like I said, I don't see it, and it's like you said, I'm shopping now, and, I, and sometimes I hear your words like, oh, like this is the murder aisle, and you see, yeah. do you know what I mean? I can like, I'm like I can hear Joey's words. I'm like, this is actually murder. really, this is weird, like the butchered aisle, you know? And then I'm like, oh no no no, and then I go away from it. Well, I'll tell you, I've been inside of a slaughterhouse, okay, and it smells the same as a butcher or the meat aisle. It's, it's got that same smell of death. The blood, and the, the blood and the fear and the smell of like dead bodies, like cold dead bodies. It smells like that inside of a slaughterhouse. Okay. Oh wow, that's weird. Yeah. Yeah, I can imagine. Uh... So you can imagine me being in a slaughterhouse, seeing animals being slaughtered, and then coming out and walking past the butcher. It reminds me of that. It's horrible. Okay, because you have that link, the yeah, connection. The direct link. I have to make that connection, I think. But I'm gonna. I'll do it. I'll yeah. do it. I'll do it for January. One month. Yeah. I'll do it. Yeah. Yeah. Sick man. I'll. Uh, I'll email you. I'll do a little. I, I tried it, you know? But you know what? Once you know it's wrong, every single day you're not doing something about it, you are a conscious uh, animal abuser through lifestyle. <laughs> you know, every day, single day you don't do something about it, you are 
you're consciously being cruel to these beings that you know that they deserve the respect, you know? So. Yeah, that's true, because every meal that's dairy or... It's like... It's, it's a lot. Yeah. It's a lot. Alright, alright, I've got to get going anyway, but... Thanks, brother. Can I, can I get a picture? Yeah, right? of course, yeah, yeah, yeah. let's talk. You know what's funny? Why even set up a table when people don't even bother sitting down? I think that's uh, quite funny, but... See that guy there? Really close. He was me seven years ago, you know? Really got to do something about it. If I met me seven years ago at that point, like sitting here, we would have had a similar conversation. But with me, I'm, I'm a more person who takes action. So like if I want to do something, I'd do it and I'd go, I'd go for it. I don't think we should let fear hold us back. Don't let your comfort zone hold you back. If you feel like something's wrong in your heart, you have to act on it. You know, don't don't be complacent. Complacency kills. When you stand back and watch what goes on to animals, and you don't do something about it, you're not. You, you know, you're watching something, a part of history, that is going to end soon, and you're going to ask yourself, you're going to talk to your grandchildren, you're going to say, which side was I on? Are you going to tell them that you didn't bother? You were, you know, you were too caught up with convenience and you know I, I knew what was wrong I didn't say anything are you gonna be that person or are you gonna be someone who says you know what I knew what was wrong and I took action and I was part of the progressive movement that changed history that left that as a dark part of history so what side are you on hey guys don't be shy there's just 47 cameras on you that's all no. you guys vegans yeah what do you guys Greg sausage roll. Yeah. Yeah, nice. What's this one? Bad wedges. Oh, nice. I didn't know they did wedges. Yeah, they're like really cheap. They're like fifty p. Fifty p for <laughs> wedges? I need well, them. Well, my like, family and friends are vegan. Oh, yeah, and my mum loves you. Really? My, my sister's uh, sixteen, and she did like. You guys related? Yeah. No, no. No, 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 no. no. Um, and she came to watch you talk at Vegan Camp Out, and she's only 16, and she's turned all her family vegan. Oh, really? Yeah. What's her name? Hella. Hello, Hella. Let's give her a shout out. Shout out to Hella. Turned her whole family vegan. <laughs> cool. Yeah. That's epic. Nice to meet you. Nice so to meet you guys, too. Yeah. Have a good Christmas. Vegan Christmas. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I will do. You too. Take care. See you later. Hella turned her whole family vegan. Wow. Or why is it worse to kill a human? I want to know why it's worth it, worse if it's not brain capacity. Because we're human beings and we shouldn't kill other human beings. And law as well, of oh, course. No, 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 no. We're not going to talk about law because what's legal hasn't always been moral. <laughs>